The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Rolls is the betting odds for the Sean Porter Earl Spence fight. As it currently stands, Sean Porter is a 92 underdog, meaning if you bet $100 on Sean Porter and he wins, you win $450. But you'd have to bet $900 on Earl Spence to win $100. Uh, so, uh, with that being said, G, who would you bet on? <laughs> yeah, man, listen here, man. Yo, Earl, you my man's, but I might have to throw that hundred on uh my man Porter. <laughs> Cause like, hey, listen, if I lose the hundred, it's whatever. But if I win though, I'm gonna walk away like four hundred plus. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, I might have to do it for real. I'm like literally like debating it. I was like, I like those odds, man. Like honestly, like. All Sean, Sean Porter has to do is that one lucky headbutt that will mess my man up for the night. Alright, so I'll put, you, I'll put you this way. Yeah. I, I give you $900. Do you put that money on Porter or do you put that money on Spence? See, man, I don't like how that sounds. What I would do with the 900 I would probably do, like... I would bet probably 500 towards Porter, 400 towards Spence. You know what I'm saying? Well, you need to, you need to bet $900 on Spence to make $100. Yeah, nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, honestly, but I wouldn't want to, yo, I feel like that's too risky to put a whole 900 on Porter. I'll be dumb hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, no, 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 on Porter. If I bet, if I bet that whole 900, like, your Porter's going to win. I'm screwed, bro. Nah, yeah, I'm man. out now. Nah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, but <laughs> uh, yo, that's too, that's too, that's too steep for a porter. You know what I mean? Like, I could, I could do like max. I would be comfortable with is like if I lose three hundred, dealing with porter is like it is what it is. I lost three hundred. But if I put nine hundred, yo, bro, I'm gonna be tight. I'm gonna be depressed for a day. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like that was a foolish investment. You know what I mean? But I, I, I could run the risk of just throwing away three hundred. You know, and then possibly winning like what, like twelve, uh, twelve hundred dollars making that bet. But I'm not throwing a whole pot of nine hundred dollars on Sean Porter. That's outrageous. Like, you gotta really just want to earn money to to do that type of bet. True. So if I had nine hundred dollars, yeah, what would you do? You you betting on Spencer? You betting on Porter? That's what I'm doing with that nine hundred dollars. <laughs> so he's plotting. <laughs> For eight hundred dollars. Spence quick because he can't continue. And they don't have to go to the 
this or the only if the, the ref stops the fight or the, uh, the ring doctor, one of them stops the fight, that's when it goes to the scorecard. But say if he says he can't continue, you know what I'm saying? Then it's a TKO. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities out there. But when I run like the possibilities in my head, based on what I see, what I've seen from the fighters, um, their physical abilities and what I believe Spence to be, I think he wins. Um, I think he wins, you know, nine times out of ten, and the odds say that as well. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, hell, I think he wins ten times out of ten. I'm, I'm not in disagreement so, with you, but there's always that head. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I have a, a feeling that Sean, right, all right, let's, let's just say he doesn't do it on purpose, okay? Right. Let's just look at the way he's his. I think he's gonna come. I think he's gonna come out fast to try to get these early rounds and try to drop a head, shoulders, elbows. You know what I'm saying? Knees and toes. Can't.